G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today's fish feature is on Microcanthus strigatus, otherwise known as the Australian stripey. We're gonna tell you all about this cool little fish and there's one fact about it that might make this the perfect fish for your reef aquarium. Now the Australian stripey is a really easy fish to accommodate in your aquarium because they have got a very wide range of foods that they will take really well. Now typically we feed a variety of frozen foods such as frozen brine shrimp, frozen lysis. Uh, they also take prepared foods, dry foods like flake and uh, pellets. They're really not fussy at all. But it's the fact that they eat Aptasia which makes them probably one of the uh, most uh, utilitarian sort of fish that you can have in your aquarium. They're really good at cleaning up a severe Aptasia problem. Now that is the reason why people do like them at this size, because at this size, they're very good at eating Aptasia and it's unlikely that they will pick on other things in the tank like corals. But that's the next thing I wanna talk about, their aquarium compatibility. Now at this size, as I said, they're really good in reef tanks. It's pretty rare that they will touch any corals, but as they get bigger, they can be a little bit of a problem, especially to uh, LPS corals. Now I have personally seen these guys uh, destroy uh, quite a nice dash, and I have heard stories about them going for a wide variety of other LPS corals. Now, I've certainly got large specimens in uh, a number of tanks and they're not causing any problems, but I would suggest that if you're putting them into a tank with uh, LPS for Aptasia control, that you leave them in until they're probably about the eight, nine centimeter mark, uh, or when you notice them starting to pick on corals because they are great at this size, but as they get bigger, they can be a little bit of a problem. Now, that does, uh, you can keep them in certain tanks when they're bigger without problems, but I typically put them in to uh, more predatory tanks and, and tanks which are more fish orientated with less, coral, uh, less corals. And we certainly have uh, a number of large specimens in fish only systems and they work very well in those sorts of tanks because they're a very active fish um, they are always out and about and in a, a tank with big predatory fish they're normally pretty good at uh, you know not being eaten they're quite an active fish and they usually do mix well with things like sharks and rays and other predatory fish the Australian stripey is a fish that has been kept in marine aquariums for a very long time and probably the, the reason for this is because they are an incredibly hardy fish and I would say that uh, these guys are probably one of the most hardy fish that you can have in your aquarium. And for that reason, some people will use them as the first fish in the tank to help to establish the ecosystem. So on a, a difficulty rating for these guys on a scale of one to 10, one being the easiest and 10 being the hardest, I'm gonna give the Australian stripey our first ever one out of 10. They are a very easy fish to keep and they are an excellent beginner fish. So that's it for today's fish feature on the Australian stripey. And they are certainly a cool little fish that is excellent for a beginner from small tanks to large tanks. And they are great if you have an Aptasia problem that you need to solve. The only downside I would suggest is that they do get quite large and may potentially pick at your LPS corals as they get bigger. But that's it for today's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatica TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. <laughs>